Pittsburgh is located in the state of Pennsylvania, west of the Allegheny Mountains and about 400 miles from New York City. The city was founded where the Monongahela and Allegheny Rivers meet to form the Ohio River. Today, it includes land on both sides of the three rivers. Pittsburgh has unique topography with winding, V-shaped valleys and little flat land. Growth has historically followed the natural corridors formed by valleys and plains with extensive development along the rivers. For thousands of years, before Europeans settled in the Pittsburgh region, Native Americans inhabited it. Among the tribes that were found here were the Iroquois, the Delaware, and the Shawnee. Europeans first began to settle the region in the early 18th century. The British and the French empires contested for control of Pittsburgh and the Ohio River Valley, with each having Native American allies. In the French and Indian War, the British were successful and retained control of the Pittsburgh region. During the first half of the 19th century, Pittsburgh began the transition from a commercial to an industrial center. Factories began to spring up around the city, burning the abundant coal that underlay Pittsburgh. The city's rivers provided cheap transportation for the goods produced. Numerous railroads linked the city and its resource to the rest of the nation. Most important here was the metals industry as the city became a busy workshop for the production of iron and steel. By the middle of the 19th century, immigrants from Ireland and Germany made up a third of the population. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, many thousands more immigrants, primarily from Eastern and Central Europe, poured into the city to take up jobs in industry and the coal mines. People with Scots-Irish background dominated the industrial and commercial elite. African Americans from the South also moved to the city seeking jobs, with the largest migration occurring around and after World Wars I and II. Major strikes and conflict occurred in the 19th and 20th centuries as workers in the steel, coal, and railroad industries demanded higher wages and better working conditions. Very early in its history, Pittsburgh became known as a smoky city. Its smoky condition was primarily the result of the abundance of, and easy to mine, soft coal. In addition, Pittsburgh's hill and valley topography produced a weather condition in which a warm air cap did not permit the smoke to disperse. In spite of the annoyance produced by the clouds of smoke, Soft coal was widely used in industry and homes because of its energy value and low cost. Coal was mined in and around the city, and the structure of many mines still persists. In addition to the smoke, Pittsburgh, because of its rivers, was subject to flooding. Homes and industries along the banks of the rivers were frequently inundated by floodwaters. In the years after World War II, many of Pittsburgh's civic leaders worried about the city's future. Environmental conditions, especially smoke pollution and housing problems, made the city an inhospitable destination for newcomers and the location of new businesses. In order to reverse the city's negative fortunes, business leaders, educators, and politicians joined together in a public-private coalition to plan a new future for Pittsburgh. The coalition launched a number of projects, including smoke and flood control, rebuilding the city's downtown, and building parks and highways. Pittsburgh became known as the Renaissance City, the first major industrial city to try to revitalize itself. During the 1940s and 50s, Pittsburgh continued to be a major producer of steel, and mills lined the banks of its rivers. However, its importance as a major producer was diminishing because of competition and a lack of innovation. The 1960s and 70s were very difficult years for the city. Population loss, the end of the Pittsburgh Renaissance, 
the collapse of the steel industry, and racial problems plague the city. Pittsburgh's population had reached its peak in 1950, but each decade brought decline. Many Pittsburghers moved from the city into its suburbs. Because of the loss of industry, unemployment reached high levels. About a fifth of Pittsburgh's population was African American, and many lived in segregated neighborhoods with poor housing. Racial tensions in the nation as a whole were high in the 1960s, and the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King in 1968 set off riots in Pittsburgh as well as many other cities. Civic and educational leaders attempted to restore racial peace in the city, but disputes remained around issues such as school and neighborhood segregation. Between 1975 and 1985, the Pittsburgh steel industry and affiliated manufacturing firms had a sudden collapse. In about a decade, most of the major Pittsburgh steel mills closed, discharging many thousands of workers. Many of these workers and their families left the city and the region seeking employment in other cities. The mill towns where the steel mills had been located lost half their populations, and many of the stores on their main streets were forced to close down. While Pittsburgh struggled with the decline of the steel industry, new projects and energy arose from the educational and medical sectors. Both Carnegie Mellon University and the University of Pittsburgh expanded their student bodies and research profiles, with CMU becoming a world leader in computer science and robotics. Both universities produced a number of new firms that aided the city's economy. Other Pittsburgh universities and colleges also expanded, and the city became known as a major university center. Two hospital giants, the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center, UPMC, and Highmark also expanded their hospital and research networks providing citizens of the region with exceptional health care. UPMC replaced the U.S. Steel Company as the largest employer in the city. Pittsburgh today is a vigorous and changing city of approximately a third of a million people within a metropolitan area of about two and a third million. The city is the region's hub and center with a vigorous and growing downtown an increasingly well-educated and younger workforce, a growing diversity, and a number of high technology and innovative enterprises. Pittsburgh has an exceedingly rich cultural life with a world-famous symphony orchestra, a rich and varied music scene, and a growing live theater presence. It is also a city that is proud of its sports teams in football, hockey, and baseball that provide it with an identity. Finally, Pittsburgh is a city that is very proud of its 90 identifiable neighborhoods and the friendliness of its people.